Kasten, Nathan Grubb, and Jared Booth, and we are the Energy Harvesting Team. Over the last nine months, we've been working on producing an energy harvesting prototype format, which will take um, mechan wasted mechanical energy from pedestrian foot traffic and transform it into usable electricity. Uh, this is going to be done using springs and piezoelectric cable. The piezoelectric cable is basically a coax cable um, with a piezo material as the dielectric and when you apply mechanical stress to the cable it's going to produce an electricity. This energy harvesting floor mat has a high value to any customer who wishes to cut back on their energy needs. It also gains value in the green energy market due to it being independent of external energy sources. Some of the coursework we found relevant in the past nine months for this project include basic and intermediate circuit design courses along with instrumentation lab, power series, power electronics, and advanced analog circuit design. A very unique aspect of our project is, is that it has been completely open-ended. Other senior design projects in our class have had a clear defined objective at the beginning of the year. However, we were given the task of creating our own project based around the theme of energy harvesting. That being so, we were forced to look outside of our tools that we have here at Ohio University to help develop this map. Some of the problems we ran into were how to generate the maximum amount of electricity from a piezo cable. And our initial design involved just compressing the outside of the cable, but as you will see on the oscilloscope, it doesn't produce any signal. Through further testing, we found that when the cable is taut, placed under tension, and oscillates, it creates a much better signal for energy harvesting, which led to our refined mat design, as shown. All right, basically, when we first started our project, we had the idea of displaying how much power we were actually consuming with each footstep. We were going to use a microprocessor and actually display how much power was being performed on a seven segment display. But through our testing with the microamp current that we were getting, we were unable to do that by using this. So basically we came up with a design through our testing that would be have a little bit of pressure but yet also an oscillating motion which you can see the springs are what we actually used for the oscillating motion and basically when they're the release of the footstep that's what actually makes it oscillate. Basically we'll show you a demonstration of what we have working so far without the LED just by stepping on it and you can see what we get out of the oscilloscope. Thanks for stopping by and seeing our project.